Get it bouncing. Yeah. Look at where I started from the street. Look at where I started from the ghetto. They say I won't never make it big. Me, I tell them, say, I oh, won't know. Look at me, I started from the street. Look at me, I started from the ghetto. They say I won't never make it big. Me, I tell them, say, I Me, God, I'm a niece with the cover. I dream, me, I pray. Me, darling, God, I have. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Max Lynn. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm super glad to have you over. But if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, you're welcome back and I'm so glad to have you back too. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. It's super important to me. That's how you guys can support me. And don't forget to share with your friends as well. So, new vlog, what are we going to be doing? I don't know. Um, but today I want to make um, guamu, which is like a very popular Ghanaian dish. It is braised rice. The rice is fried in uh, caramelized onions and it usually has like salted beef in it. Um, you know, and then it's eaten with like uh, grounded pepper, shito, green pepper, and a couple of other different things. So that's what I'm going to be making today. To be honest, I didn't plan to film this. Um, but I just thought it would be good to start the vlog on this note because I've never posted a recipe for that anyways so that's what we're going to be doing so I didn't want to step guys I know it's noisy hold on okay okay so I didn't want to step out to go and buy the ingredients that I need I have almost everything but I just need a few more things to add so I didn't step out um, they would be delivered in a bit so I'll get started um, after I record this bit actually. I'll just wait for the rest to come in. Um, but I hope all of you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are great. I'm doing very well. So today's a Tuesday, the 20th of June. I'm very much okay. I hope you guys are as well. And I really hope you enjoy this vlog. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to go. But I do hope that I do some interesting things in this vlog. So yeah, you guys, I also got my hair twisted by Hannah. So Hannah twisted my hair for me. Um, and I'm really grateful that she did this because, you know. So yeah. Um, so let's go to the kitchen. And oh, also ordered some um, caramel frappuccino from Costa. Because I haven't had a frappuccino in a very long time. So yeah. Okay, let's go. Just overthinking, I feel like I'm too much. Keep mistaking my I can't lie, I've tried this and I prefer Starbucks um caramel frap. Of my ambition Logically I know I shouldn't feel this way. Okay guys, let's make my angua mo recipe. Don't forget to screenshot the ingredients on the next couple of pages. So this is my salted beef. So I soaked it in water for about an hour and then I washed it and cut it into little bits. And then I'm going to fry that in my oil for about 8 to 10 minutes and then I'm going to take it out. Now, if you don't have salted beef, you don't have to use it for this recipe, but a lot of people like to use it for this recipe because it adds another depth of flavor to the rice. So once it's done, you want to take it out and then 
set it aside and then you are going to fry your onions so after you've added your onions you want to add about three to four of the green scotch bonnets or um, papuchito peppers and you're going to crack them in so that they release all their flavors into the dish and you're going to also add in your fried salted beef and give that a good mix so once you've done that you want to add in your rice now i never wash my rice for this recipe you only want to wash your rice if it's absolutely necessary okay so once the rice has gone in you want to give that a very good mix and then you are going to let it toast for about um three to four minutes you're going to cover it and let it toast for about three to four minutes on low heat and once that's done you're going to add just enough water okay and some salt as well but when you're adding the salt to make sure you taste um you taste before you add because the salted beef is salty okay So for the water you need to make sure that there's at least an inch of water on the surface of the rice before you cover it with parchment paper and the lid okay don't add too much water but don't add too little as well add about four cups mix that in and then when you add the second batch it has to have that one inch layer and that should be fine to go add the parchment paper on top and cover it and let's cook on low heat so one of the sides that I'm having this with is corned beef and I like to heat it up in the microwave a bit because it makes it fried in a way it's really nice when you do that you should try it but i just heated the one that mag and i would be using for today and the next day i think and i added the rest of the sides with everyone else how is that you're gonna have to call your friends tell them that you're gonna be late because i'm gonna need you to explain so at this point I was making the red pepper that we were going to have with the rice so I just added in the onions, scotch bonnet pepper or habanero pepper and tomatoes another key ingredient is the sardine oil guys this gives the pepper a different flavor which is really nice so if you are using sardines please be sure to include the oil in the pepper and then also add a little bit of salt to taste and then just grind um usually this is made in anasanka okay an earthenware bowl i think i've used it on my channel before but soft life i really didn't have the energy to be grinding in that thing so i just blended it and i make it like this all the time now and it still tastes amazing Watching videos of us I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left so guys this was the first time that i checked the rice after i added water i checked it after about 15 minutes and it wasn't quite done yet the rice was still hard but there was still water in the rice so i didn't add any extra water i just um turned the rice i didn't break the rice okay i didn't use my spatula to actually break it i just turned it and then put the parchment paper back on and covered it to cook for an extra 10 minutes Drinking non-stop, just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can seem to get these thoughts out of my head Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that, love me like that Oh, stay inside 
right in my bed all day long Listening to sad songs and feeling so low Thinking about you and where we went wrong Cause I wanna know why you let me go Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something I was so sure I let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart Look at I started from the street Look at I started from the ghetto This time we will never make it be Me, I tell them say, I don't know Look at me, I started from the street Look at me, I started from the ghetto This time we will never make it be Me, I tell them say, oh Me got a man is to the cover, retreat me, I pray Me telling God everything me I need me I tell you, God, may you bless me still Yeah, yeah, yeah If I know get all these people go laugh for me All these people go use me, play May God they bless me and my family Yeah, yeah, yeah Aye, aye, aye Nobody feel me somebody Somebody feel me nobody Never look down or no Aye, aye, aye Nobody feel me somebody Somebody if you be nobody Never look down or look good Me and me class on a low on a low Me and wanna turn up on a low on a low Me and wanna get to the door Me and wanna try on the low on a low Me and wanna turn up on a low on a low Me and wanna try on the low on a low Me and wanna get to the door Me and wanna turn up on a low on a low Damn, with my eyes don't see me a no fee talk on Me a no fee and I'm yeah 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 Damn Raising my eyes don't see Me a no fee talk on Me a no fee and I'm yeah 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 You say money not vanity up on vanity If you know to get in a calamity Brother this life in a spirituality Yeah 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 You say money not vanity up on vanity if you know to get in a calamity Brother, this life in a spirituality Yeah, yeah, yeah Aye, aye, aye Nobody if you be somebody Somebody if you be nobody Never look down or no Aye, aye, aye Nobody if you be somebody Somebody if you be nobody Never look down or no but Me I make a shit on you, on you me I wanna turn up on the low, on the low. Me I wanna get to the do, do, do. Me I wanna shine on the low, on the low. Me I wanna turn up on the low, on the low. Me I wanna shine on the low, on the low. Me I wanna get to the do, get to do. Me I wanna turn up on the low, on the low.
you guys are well i know my hair looks like it's a mess um but yeah forget about that um so today i am going to be cleaning the fridge so i'm taking everything out i would wash all of the shelves in the fridge and then rearrange everything in there so yeah that's today's agenda i hope you guys are having a fantastic saturday um yeah let's get to it now let's make a home be all alone so tell me baby where would you like to go maybe we'll drive from coast to coast only to where we love the most i'm taking you the shelves out and I've cleared the fridge up I'm about to clean it but I have whipping cream here that I don't want to um, I don't want it to go bad or I don't want to you know how this thing can be so I think I'm going to put it in the freezer and clean this place really quickly and then bring it back up so it would be in the freezer for about um, five minutes okay that should work because I really don't want it to go bad so yeah Separate from our old ways Anywhere is home when you're with me Come and take a seat next to me, babe Let this pretty view take your breath away Baby, we deserve a break from our old ways Cause I'm taking you to paradise, paradise You know where we're going tonight, going tonight Paradise, paradise I'm taking you to paradise, paradise I don't even care about the price, care about the price, yeah Paradise, paradise I'm taking you, you, you Paradise Okay, so now I'm moving this here. I'm going to wash the shelves and then come and arrange everything. Tell me if I got it wrong, but you don't wanna be alone. Spend the evening by yourself, but you'll miss me when it's getting late. Got it all, babe. Save on when you're ready.
guys so it's 8 p.m and isn't this so beautiful it's so nice i haven't seen it like this at 8 p.m strawberries honey crunchy nuts clusters and yogurt at the bottom so good so this is breakfast slash lunch hello guys good afternoon so today is monday and it is 27 minutes past five focus 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 why isn't it bright anyways so today's Monday, so I've closed from work and there we go. And I want to go and make dinner. So I'm making pork chops and some kind of um, cherry tomato and cream um, sauce with um, mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes and a side of rice just because we have rice in the fridge. Um, so yeah. I think I made one Tuscan salmon one like that but I used um, what did I use for that one I used like spinach and I used um, sun-dried tomatoes but this one I'm going to use um, fresh cherry tomatoes so I'm excited to share this recipe with you I already marinated my pork chops I showed you guys but I'm going to give you guys the ingredients that I used to marinate it because I know I didn't tell you earlier on so I would put that in the ingredient list before I start making the food but yeah that's what I'm doing today I hope you guys are having a lovely Monday if you don't follow Maxi's kitchen on Instagram what are you doing please follow now Maxi's underscore kitchen on Instagram okay so yeah, so I'm just going to make dinner and I'm just going to end this vlog. I feel like it's long enough to be like a 40 minute vlog, which is okay. So yeah, let's go to the kitchen. Guys, actually before I go, I am trying to upload a reel 
to TikTok because I hate TikTok so much. Oh my gosh, because why is it that the content there is so it's always like so fast paced like like everything is just so fast and it's just like a joke i'm sorry but to me it's just like why is everything so fast and then i hate this thing what i eat in a day that lady's voice oh my gosh guys it really pisses me off anyway so i'm trying to so what i do is that i never spend time on tiktok like some of my friends are trying to get me to like tiktok but it's not really working you know um but whenever i upload a video to instagram i just download it and then just go and put it on tiktok and just leave the app <laughs> i leave the app like once i'm done uploading whatever i need to upload i don't even go back to check who has so like i was saying before i got rudely interrupted when i upload a video on tiktok i don't even stay there i upload it and then i'm out like even if people comment i never reply which is very bad i should try and reply when people comment but uh, literally that is like my worst app ever i don't like it anyways i'm trying to upload the reel that i uh, i just posted on instagram but then the reel couldn't download with the sound because of some reason that i don't know so I'm trying to insert the sound on TikTok, but it's not working. I remember so well at first I used to add a video and then TikTok would extract the sound from it. And because it's an ASMR video, I just screen recorded the actual video with the ASMR sounds on on Instagram and I just wanted to export that here so it would have all the ASMR bits do you get what I mean but it's not working and I'm stressed I want to do it before I go to the kitchen so I'm stuck I'm trying to figure this out before we go Guys, I can't seem to figure this out, so I'll do it later. Let's go. So I was about to start cooking, but I realized that we don't have any cream left, and I need cream to make the food, so I have to step out and buy some. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go out quickly and then come back. Okay guys, let's make this pork chops and cream and tomato sauce. Don't forget to take a screenshot of all the ingredients on these pages. Let's get to it. So the first thing that I actually started doing is I'm boiling my potatoes for my mashed potatoes. Now I'm not going to give you the recipe list for that because I already have like three different mashed potato recipes on my channel and this is one of them, okay? So I would leave a link to this garlic one that i made um in the description box i'll leave a link to that recipe what i did was just add some oil to some garlic cloves in a ramekin and i'm just going to put in the oven to roast for some time and we're going to use the softened roasted garlic to make the mashed potatoes While the potatoes are boiling, I'm going to add some oil to my pan and this is a pan that I'm going to be making my sauce in. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, sear the pork chops that we marinated, okay? So you want to marinate your pork chops maybe an hour before you do this, okay? Um, and then once you have that nice golden color on the other side, you want to flip it and let it cook on the other side for a while and then you're going to take them out. So 
So after I took them out, I added a bit more oil and then fried my onions and let them fry for a while before I added in my garlic because garlic bends faster than onions do. Um, so after I added in my garlic, I mixed for a while and then I deglazed my pan with some um, dry white wine. Now if you don't have white wine, just use water, okay? But the white wine leaves behind a really nice flavor and that's why I always deglaze with wine. So just in case this is your first time hearing of the term deglazing, I'm going to explain it to you. So it's just adding a liquid to your pan after you've said a meat, a type of meat or chicken or anything and scraping um, the bottom of the pan to get all the flavors back into the dish, okay? You know after you fry meat or sear meat um, in your pan, bits of the flavors get stuck at the bottom of the pan and you need that in your dish. So you can do this by deglazing with wine, with stock or with water. I like to use wine to deglaze because um, it adds so much flavor back into the dish, okay? So I added in my cherry tomatoes. Guys, I actually also use sun-dried tomatoes but you don't have to use it, okay? And then I gave that a good mix and now I'm adding in my basil and I also added in my chopped habanero pepper. If you don't like habanero pepper just because it's too spicy, use regular chilies. I also added in most of my spring onions and I gave that a good mix. Now I added in some water before I added in the cream because it was just too thick and you need it to be a bit thin before you add the cream. Okay so once you add the cream it would also get thick um, so you need to add more water after you also add the cream okay and then reduce the heat to medium to low that's if it was already on high and then let it cook slowly and nicely okay everything will come together nicely. So after about 8 minutes of cooking the sauce on low heat, put the pork chops back and then add all the juices, okay? Don't worry if you think there's blood or anything like that in there, it's still going to cook. So what you want to do is to coat the pork chops with the sauce, okay? And then you are going to let this cook on low heat for a good 10 minutes maybe so you want to season with garlic powder i add a garlic powder but it's not so necessary if you don't have it just use salt and black pepper okay season and then taste but you want this to cook for a while and that's all you need to do for the sauce it's really that simple okay i also made my mashed potatoes so when the potatoes were done i added in the roasted garlic um cream a mix of cream and butter salt and pepper okay so like i said i would leave the recipe in the description box so if you want to try it please check and then i dished everything out she didn't love you back love you back all she did was leave a hole in your chest you didn't get that job get that job even though you really gave it your best So that's the end of the vlog today guys. This meal was so good and you guys need to try it. If you do try it, please let me know what you think about it. So don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't, please guys, and comment below. And today, tell a friend about Maxi's Kitchen and get them to subscribe. I'll catch you later. Bye!